good morning children today we will discuss about some notable chemists and their contributions for class 6 so on the first lecture we have already connect these items of daily use of chemicals present like pencil eraser paper ink in the first class and next in the second class we have introduced you the chemistry the different branches of chemistry like inorganic chemistry organic chemistry physical chemistry we have discussed all this fact in the last video we have discussed about development of chemistry a historical perspective we have discussed about alchemy philosopher stones differentiation between alchemy and the chemistry we have discussed about alloy also and the today we'll discuss about some notable chemists and their contributions first in your syllabus antony lavoisier he was a french chemist first established that air contains more than one gas is the most interesting studies about these gases he experimentally proved that air is mainly composed of two gases oxygen about one fifth of air lavoisier also showed that water is composed of hydrogen and oxygen so that means antony lavoisier uh, did some experiments related to gas as well as the compositions of air next one your henry cavendish henry cavendish was a british scientist an important experimental and theoretical chemist and physicist also he discovered hydrogen gas okay this for your exam point of view multiple choice multiple choice questions may come next one is the your john dalton was an english chemist he is acknowledged for his research work in the formations of modern atomic theory and color blindness dalton's law of different laws related to atoms and molecules also there he also explained that atoms cannot be created nor be destroyed john dalton next one is mendeleev we all know that Mendeleev is the first scientist who did the modern Mendeleev's periodic table. Dmitry Mendeleev was a Russian chemist. He helped to transform the world of science with his way of organizing elements according to their weight and chemical reactivity in a tabular form. Next is your Miss Madam Curie, Mary Curie. Mary Curie was a physicist and chemist well known for the theory of radioactivity. Okay. This is she shared the Nobel Prize in the Physics with Pierre Curie and Henry Becquerel for their joint research on radiation. The discovery for radiation. In your book there is an activity to learn about notable chemist. Few materials are required. You can easily observe these things a chart paper pencil scales. Procedure also given. Use the reference books or internet. Next is the most important part applications of chemistry. Okay. Chemistry is all around us. Anything we touch, smell, see, taste contain one or more chemicals. The air we breathe, the food we eat, everything is related to the chemistry. Now, next part is your industries and chemistry. there are several industry textile textile industry fertilizer industry and pharmaceuticals industries are there they are solely dependent on the chemistry the chemicals their applications of different chemical substances as well as theories chemical industries are very important for economy of any country they supply pesticides fertilizers to the farmer now what is pesticides pesticides are those chemicals 
which helps to prevent pest and which helps to kill the pest fertilizers will increase the fertility of the soil hence it is termed as fertilizers the farmers which are essential for growing crops the fibers and the dyes which are used in textile industries the synthetic sweeteners synthetic sweetener means the artificial sweetening agent for example there are several artificial sweetening agents are there sucralose sucrose aspartame and so many things so the next topic is the artificial flavoring substances they are also helps they also help the pharmaceutical industry and healthcare industry by providing the essential chemical components for example in our today's situations hydroxychloroquine is the most important chemicals now to fight with covid-19 virus so of course it will depends on chemistry it is a derivative of quinine plastics for packaging industry and artificial rubber for automobile industry are also provided by chemical industries components of many cleansing agents such as soaps detergents stain removers soaps detergents and the stain removers shampoos shampoos contain also the non ionic detergents conditioners non ionic detergents toothpaste contain fluorides in the first video i have discussed okay so these are the dependency of industries with chemistry in the next video we'll learn about food and chemistry